so I just touched down on the Isles of Scilly. Uh, it was a pretty windy and rough experience getting over on the ferry. Trying to set this tent up was an absolute nightmare and he took off about five times. Uh, yeah, I'm here and I've landed. I'm going to head off now down to the main town of St Mary's. I'm going to check it out and see what sort of excursions we can go on to the islands. Uh, obviously my main mission here is to find a variety of bird life on the Isles of Scilly. Hopefully we can catch some puffins at some point during the trip. Gannets, um, guillemots, oyster catchers, that sort of thing. Yeah, maybe we'll be blessed with uh, a variety of rare birds. Considering I have no access to any sort of kitchen apparatus or cooking equipment, here's dinner. This is my office. This is the washing up area. There's power down here. Grab the chair from the, next, from the men's toilets. And uh, yeah, got a little set up here. Got our charging. Getting our charged up for the Champions League. Let's go. With, uh, Otavio. Champions League in the tent. Salah. Cannot complain. So 6:36 a.m. and it's freezing. I probably wake up about five or six times throughout the night. Uh, so windy. I had to sleep with my headphones in, listen to music, nice bit of failure, keep me keep me going. And uh, yeah, it's Arctic conditions. <sighs> Bloody freezing. But we're up for the day now, so I'm alive. I survived the night. That's one good thing I suppose. First mistake of the trip, forgot a towel. So I'm gonna have to dry myself in my dressing gown. Showered and ready. Uh, now I think it's time to head down to the harbour. Uh, I'm gonna get down there, see what sort of boat trips I can go on, what sort of excursions we can do and just generally find out what's going on down in the harbour really. Uh, I haven't really visited there much yet, so that's one of the first things I need to do. Get their breakfast on the way. I've got my towel now at least.
pretty nice crossing on the on the ship. Uh, still very windy. Hopefully, we get to see some bird life today. Start doing some project work. So Tresco is a pretty sick place. I feel like I'm on Madagascar or something while I'm here. All the trees are massive. So here's another crazy looking tree. Pretty sick. So I'm back in the tent cot. Today was good. Uh, the trip to Tresco was fun. Pretty knackered though. Uh, yeah. I'm, I didn't see as much as I'd hoped I wanted to see. But tomorrow I'm going on a guided tour of one of the main dons of the island. And there's definitely about the local wildlife and the bird life. Because uh, there wasn't really many trips on today, I just decided to take one of the boats to one of the islands which is explore for myself. I did a lot of exploring, I've basically seen most of Tresco which is cool. But tomorrow I'm hoping to do something out on a boat for the whole day. It's 8.45, just woke up again quite a long line actually to be fair uh, pretty tired did a lot of walking yesterday so I think I'm gonna head up have a shower and then uh, hopefully today I'm going to see some puffins quarter past 11 So far, uh, I've seen some puffins, so I'm pretty happy about that. They brought the New Zealanders in because nobody kills a rat like a New Zealander. With such enthusiasm. I 
landed on St. Agnes, which is the smallest, most southerly island in the Isle of Chile. Uh, pretty pleased because I managed to see some puffins on the way over, which is one of the things I wanted to do on the trip. Tell you what, trying to shoot bird life, so birds flying extremely fast, whilst on a moving boat without a tripod using a 500mm lens was not an easy task. So hard. I didn't bring a tripod with me because it was too big and I got a really big gimbal head one which is for basically heavyweight tripods and they wouldn't have fitted in, into my luggage. Uh, on the selenium 3 so I just decided to just not use a tripod um, but yeah it's not the hard it is pretty damn hard it's heavy that's the main problem if you're carrying that and, and shooting up to a thousand plus photos a day on it lifting your arm up the whole time it's going to be heavy come the end of the day but yeah we've got some good shots so yeah I'm pretty pleased so far so now I'm on Gu Island which is a smaller island which connects to St Agnes from a bar which is over there so you've got to walk across the sandy bar and you get to Kew Island and there's the lighthouse and yeah this is one of the most remote wilderness-esque places I've been such a small place so many birds just chilling alright shag plenty of shags over there New arrivals by looks of things. Well, I was the only person here, apart from another couple, and those more tents. So it's 8.57 in the morning. It's absolutely boiling in this tent. It's just a complete change from how it's been the past two nights. No wind at all last night whatsoever. We'll see the first night and only took away. They flew off into the wind, but last night not a single bit of wind all night. So it's changed drastically in the past few days since I've been here. I'm absolutely melting in this tent. So it should be a hot day today. It should be good. Shorts on today. My little friends, you come and chill with me. Oh, they bad, bad. So today I'm going to Old Town, which is one of the other towns on St Mary's. And I'm just doing a walk there, basically, to explore it, see what I can find. Probably just spend the day chilling, really. Pretty KO'd after yesterday. And yeah, looking forward to seeing another part of St Mary's.
can't begin to describe how beautiful this place is. It really is just insane. Whole place is like Cornwall and Somerset combined in an island. All the best features of two places. The weather just could not be better today. This is so relaxing. I think I've hit the peak of paradise and relaxation on my trip now. I think this is it. Such a mint place. So it's half seven now. Uh, today's probably been the most beautiful day so far of the trip. It's been absolutely boiling. Uh, and yeah, I'm basically just by the harbour side now. Uh, eight o'clock, there's a talk going on with Will Wagstaff. He's uh, one of the leading conservationists of the island. He does tours, uh, that sort of thing. And he's doing a speech tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna head to one of the town halls and check it out. Did you? Where was that to? Down Old Town. <laughs> ah, right, yeah. Yeah. Glad <laughs> to know that I've got some new pictures. In fact, every year I change my shows these days, so if you saw last year's, it's all new. All stuff taken last year and some even this year. Uh, they are extremely good at stealing cream teas. So the trick is if you're in an open air cafe and you need a napkin or you need a knife, do not leave your cake on the table. It will not be there much longer. They're very good at stealing cake and sugar and jam and all the rest of it. It does curlew, curlew. The song thrush love that noise, it seems, but they split it. So at some point in their song, you'll hear them doing cur, 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 and then a little bit later, they'll do the loo bit. So you get loo, 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 loo. They breed up in the high Arctic, and then they winter out at sea. They sit on the sea and swim and pick food from there. Actually likes ivy, despite the name Holly, so you tend to find it in the more sheltered areas. But you'll get a lot of it around now, and then you'll get more again in the late summer. They are on other islands, but Tresco Gardens is a good site for them. Um, I was over there with a group a year or so ago, and one of my group had one appear on its hat. We have no idea how it got on his hat. One day puffin. Um, you know, the, the French name for this bird, for example, is the puffin anglais, the English puffin. Well, they breed on Annex, but nowadays they're back breeding on St Agnes and Gew again. Back at the tent now. Uh, the speech with Will Wagstaff was pretty epic. I think it was about an hour and a half long, and uh, I stayed for a good 10 minutes after chatting to him, just talking about what sort of tours he's going to be doing over the next few days. And yeah, just probably going to organise to go on one of his tours. Absolutely scorching. 
definitely going to be burnt tomorrow morning on my face. Going to the hides was pretty epic. Got some alright shots. I mean, you've just got to be lucky with what you spot, haven't you, I suppose. Discovered a load of new beaches, explored a lot of new places in St Mary's. Went to probably the most stunning place on the island I've been so far. That little beach I was at. Gonna try and get swimming in there tomorrow, I think, at some point. But yeah, I might head to St Martin's tomorrow morning. I think the boat's at 10am. And hopefully by the end of the trip I would have explored all the islands. So it's ten past eight. That's good, mate. I've done so much walking on this trip. It's the most walking I've done since I went to Norway a year ago, I'd say. Ugh. Another beautiful day. A bit windier than it was yesterday. Still good. Sun's out. Uh, I'm going to head down to the harbour to take a trip to St. Martin's, which is one of the smaller islands, but some say it's the best island. We'll see if it is later. Mostly everywhere else as well, the water is crystal clear.
a little bit late today. My knees is broke. So yeah, I'm going on to wildlife tour again, see some bird life on boots. St. Agnes. Um, I just went on a tour around the Eastern Islands again, uh, just so I can see some more puffins, which I did. I uh, saw quite a lot of petrels, which are cool. Got some pretty good shots. And now the boats took us to St. Agnes, so I'm spending a bit of time here. It has got very, very windy again, too. Heading back to the boat now, well the Turks Head pub to wait for the boat. And yeah, it, it was pretty decent. I got to see some shell duck. Uh, so I got some photos of them in flight. And yeah, the freshwater lake there was pretty nice. again 8.16 just woke up can't even move my eyes properly here he is again good morning hello mate Hello. Hello. Good morning to you too. It is half six. I spent all day at the campsite and in this room basically sorting out all my photos and that they're taken on the trip. Just had my first ever experience of eating cold tinned food. To be fair, it wasn't actually that bad. Just a bit weird and cold. Six eleven AM. Absolutely freezing, I can't wait to get out of here now. It's one of them ones, isn't it? When you touch that, soaking everywhere. Let's get you packed up. Campsite, you've been good to me. <laughs> Say hello to my old friends. Uh, my old friends. <laughs> my camping buddies. Literally old friends. <laughs>
Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. All the best. Good trip, and now I'm about to be Bob Bud's rescue me. Ta-da.